All right, so over here, the I'm going to reset this so you can see what's going on right now. I can change the pen width now, and I can use the um, the left key. I disabled the D key, but I could move forward. I don't also I don't have to move forward, but I'll put that back. <laughs> I will put that back. I'm sorry. So. Okay, so there's the key code. Whenever I press a key, it let me know which number it is. It, it's part of here, this console.log. So this, this function here is listening to the key press and then it's let me, letting me know what number it is pressed right now. So currently the, hunt, the, the, 90, the key number 97 works. This is A key. A key is for 97. And if I want 100 to work, all I have to do is to copy this and then say else if else if if that key turns to turns out to be number hundred, I would go right. Okay. And now my left turn and right turn are both working. Okay. If I might space want my space bar to work, notice that space bar is number 32. I can put in 32. For number 32, I will go forward, uh, I don't know, 10 should be sufficient. So in that case, I can go rotate and rotate and I can draw whatever I like. Okay, that's very nice. Now, with the width though, this, actually, this, this now works. So I can draw a thicker line, I can draw a smaller line, a thinner line if I wanted to, okay. So you have code for that in the in the page, and uh, if you were to scroll down, it tells you what to do later on. It tells you to um, replace all these buttons with either a slider uh, or a button. So if you need a button, you go to the site to find a button to use. If you need a slider, you have the code for slider in here. Uh, this is to change width. So if you're gonna, if you are changing width, you probably just call it width, but in here you gotta go window.width for it to work. Same with the clear. So for some reason, you have to do that for it to work. Maybe there are a couple of same name functions are, are running into each other. So you have to add um, window.width for it to work. And this is using its own value. The value from this ID, its value times by one to make it a number type. It does work even if you don't go multiply by one. Just a good practice. Um, yeah, that's that. So for the requirement, copy this table, give me some screenshots, and that's it. Okay, so let me know if you need further help. Otherwise, good luck. Okay.